Hello guys and welcome to this session. In this session we are going to uh, install the Maven uh, in the Jenkins server. So previously uh, we, I released a two video. One, one is regarding the installation of the Jenkins servers and uh, we, we set uh, the, the Java uh, also after installations and after that uh, we have we released another video in which we um, installed the Git and integrated with the Jenkins. So in the current sessions, we are going to uh, install uh, a Maven uh, on the Jenkins server. So if you did not uh, have uh, viewed my previous videos, uh, just have a look in the playlist. You can find a playlist of DevOps miscellaneous topics. There you will find my two videos on those subjects. So before um, uh, looking into this video please refer that as well so that, so that you have the better understanding so uh, i am creating all these things in the issue 2 instance and whenever i we uh, stop the ins instance it's the public ip of the instance gets changed this is the default property if you want to uh, fix the IP address, the public IP address of the issue 2 instance, just, just attach it with the elastic IP. Uh, so that, uh, uh, but remember that uh, when your instance is in the stop state and uh, you have the elastic IP attached, you will get charged. So only one IP, uh, elastic IP is uh, comes into the free tier, but uh, it's uh, always attach with the running instance so that you will not get charged. Now uh, I am copying this, this uh, public IP so that we can connect uh, meta, meta connections. So I am using the mobile stream for this. Uh, let's start a new session for connections in the advance. Actually, this is, this is, have the great features that uh, you can uh, you can connect with the putty also. But in the putty, you have to convert uh, the PAM to the PPK to use it. But uh, uh, in this uh, uh, for mobile extreme, the connections uh, can be done very easily through the interface. So I like this interface. Okay, so now we connect it to our EC2 machine where we have a Jenkins, Java and Git already installed and integrated uh, with the uh, um, Jenkins. So uh, let's uh, use, use the uh, root user. So I, uh, I have login as a root user. The current directory is the root. Let's uh, go to the um, opt. So I'm going to uh, fetch all the binaries for the Maven into the opt folder. Okay, so it's good. Clear the screen. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to download the Maven. Um, the, the, the link address we are going to copy it and then we will extract the data archive. So for this, uh, let me open the Google. And uh, uh, download Maven, okay. So I'm going to copy this link. Copy the link address and I am currently in OPT so uh, I am going to use the wget and copy the, uh, the path here. So you can see that uh, when you put the ls uh, you can find that uh, one um, uh, gz file get downloaded and the AWS is because we are using the EC2 instance that's why there is a uh, AWS folder and then let's uh, uh, extract uh, this file so use the tar and xvjf and the apache binaries okay so um, let's extract this 
ls so we have the uh, the extract of the um, uh, dz file the archive archive file no we are going to copy this uh, extract into a maven file so let's move it uh, apache maven and inside the maven folder so let's move to maven okay ls okay so we are in, inside the maven which is under the opt uh, opt folder so you can see that all the extract you will find the extract the bin folder the boot folder the configuration lib so all the extract which we downloaded is now moved to uh, the opt inside the maven folder so uh, as you know that uh, for the java we set an environment variable like java home but for the maven we have to set two variables actually uh, so two variables so one is the mt underscore home and the other one is m2 and first one m2 underscore home and second one is m2 for the m2 underscore home we are going to set uh, the maven folder path and for the m2 variables we are going to set uh, uh, till bin opt slash maven slash bin so let's clear the screen and now i am going to uh, use the vim editor tilt so that you, you can go to the home directory and open that particular file slash dash underscore profile same uh, file in which we already updated for the java so you can see that uh, the, all the things uh, are available but we set for the java and here you, we have to set the variable for the maven as well so go to the insert mode okay and here put the another file press the enter and here you have to set m2 m2 underscore home and you don't have to put any space just to uh, keep in mind that if you pass any space there then it will uh, create a problem opt maven and for m2 opt till bin m a v e n and bin and the same you have to change the path for both the variable dollar and m2 underscore home and same for the m2 as well oh, sorry column column and dollar m2 so that's it so now you just save uh, the um, file now you have to check it by echo dollar m2 so it will not give you the output just exit it and uh, login with the root uh, again okay so echo color m2 so you can see that, that uh, now we can uh, access the variable path that we set uh, let's check it for the home as well so perfect it's uh, working fine now uh, as we installed uh, and the, the maven so we have to check uh, the maven version as well so you can see that uh, we installed the apache maven 3.8.2 and the home path is also perfect perfect, perfect and the java versions is also 
uh, appearing correctly and the uh, runtime of the Java GRE is uh, is the correct part. So all things looks good. Uh, now we have to uh, set all these things and um, uh, the plugins needs to be installed in the Jenkins so that Jenkins have the integrations with the Maven that we just installed it. So now uh, uh, I'm accessing the Jenkins consoles and uh, uh, here in the manage Jenkins, you have to uh, access the manage plugins. Okay, so um, as I already mentioned, this update sections will uh, guide you about if you have any plugins that you installed previously. If there is some update, then it will instruct you that uh, there is some update available for that plugins. Available, it will list all the supported plugins for the Jenkins and installed if you installed already any any plugins. So uh, now I'm going to uh, install for the Maven. Now I'm going to search it. So uh, we have to install two plugins for the Maven. One is the Maven integrations and other the invoker. Okay, this one. So just tick both of the Maven integration and Maven invoker. Install without restart. So it will install all the plugins that support both both the invoker and integrations. So you can see that uh, some plugin, plugins that support uh, for the GitHub and we already uh, did it. So uh, it's just marking all the things uh, the supported binaries that already installed as success. So that's why it's uh, processing it very fastly. Okay, perfect. Uh, so now uh, we are going to uh, set the uh, Maven related things in the global tools configuration as well. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, manage Jenkins and here we have to set for the Maven. So you can see that uh, the Maven is now appearing here because we already installed the supported plugins. And the same we have uh, set for the JDK in the previous video for the, for the git as well and now we have to do it for the maven in the similar way so we are not going to install it because it's already installed we just name it and set the maven home so for this uh, and the name we are selecting here the m2 underscore home and the path of the m2 underscore home the same path which we uh, already configured that is opt underscore maven okay apply, apply and save it so that's it so you're now you have now installed maven in the Jenkins server uh, you did all installed all the plugins that supported for the maven and integrated that maven with the Jenkins uh, now uh, we we will uh, going to uh, create a new job I'm just showing you that in the new items now you have the Maven project so what basically we are doing we are just uh, created an environment for the CI CD pipeline so if you if you look into uh, this uh, GitHub, GitHub I have one public repository and there we have some uh, some files means the web app, web files and uh, uh, there is one uh, XML file name as POM which is uh, required for the Maven. So we have one repository and now what we are going to do using the Maven project in the new item, we are going to fetch uh, the all the uh, supporting files, all the projects files you can say which is, which is provided by the developer. We are going to create a Maven project and once the Maven project is fetched by the uh, Jenkins from the GitHub, we are going to provide all the um, things like it's a private, um, it's not it's not a private, it's a public repository, so the, there is no authentication required. So Maven, uh, the Jenkins job will uh, 
uh, fetch uh, all the uh, applications uh, file from the github using this path uh, so and it will um, it will create a var file so it will create a work file in the work, uh, workspace folder so you can see it in the dashboard we have when we create a, 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 a artifacts it's kept kept on the workspace so we in the next session we are going to do all the things like creating the maven project and uh, we are going to fetch going to fetch the file from the um, github and generate uh, a bundle called as artifacts in the var file and after that uh, uh, we are trying to think, do a things in an automated way like uh, we create a tomcat server the other institutions on the other institute instance and whenever the user uh, push a code into the uh, git uh, github uh, it will uh, jenkins will run a automated automated process and it will uh, uh, throw all the all the binaries it have the integrations with the tomcat and uh, the applications uh, that you can see the, your changes uh, uh, on the tomcat server uh, at the same time so the, in this way we we uh, complete the ci cd activity after that we will uh, try to generate a, a, a docker image from the artifacts and uh, after that we will um, install a kubernetes cluster in a separate ec2 machine where the kubernetes will fetch the image from the git uh, from the docker hub so uh, we, we are going to install uh, Ansible as well, uh, which uh, where we write some uh, scripts uh, in the Ansible playbook, and the Ansible playbook will uh, read the the artifacts uh, and will generate a, a Docker file and push it into the uh, Docker Hub and the Kubernetes. Uh, and at the same time, it it um, create uh, start the process of uh, initiating a container using that image. So this is my plan uh, for this. So keep watching, and if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you, thank you very much.